Good morning, everybody. Um, it is currently 9.23 um, on October the 14th, which is Friday. Um, so I just weighed myself and I am at 148.2. Um, so it's only a pound less than um, what I originally started at, but if you watched my last video, I was at 151, so I had actually gained a couple of pounds. Um, if you don't remember, I had family in town um, and we ate out a lot, like pretty much every meal was out, so I knew that starting it that week was probably not the best idea, but I did it anyway and I failed. It happens. Um, so anyways, down to 148.2 which is great so I lost a few pounds within a week I do attribute a lot of that to um, a lot of like retaining water um, I it was that time of the month so I was very bloated and like I said just retaining a lot of water so um, I think you know everything that I did this week helped but I don't know that it was fully what allowed me to lose the weight so um anyways the i'm gonna go ahead and get into the tag question so like i said i am 148.2 this week um did i increase or decrease i decreased um what do if i decrease then what do you owe credit to so i think that really this week was not eating out every meal um definitely helps um i when i did snack i made sure to snack on things that weren't super um <laughs> anyway so um i do feel like I owe a lot of credit to just not snacking um, and not really going over the top when it comes to that. Like I used to just like snack and snack and snack and like again I still snacked but it was a little healthy, healthier stuff. Um, it wasn't on potato chips and things. Um, it was usually fruit and if I did want something kind of crunchy and salty I would um, snack on croutons and I'm just like a handful of croutons um, and that's kind of like my guilty pleasure um, I mean there were times that I still had like a piece of apple pie and um, things like that I think when I completely deprive myself of stuff is like the hardest part um, so I just tried to make sure to not deprive myself. Like if I wanted something, I could have it, but just a couple of bites of it or, you know, not as big as like I normally would go with it. So um, what exercise routines did you do and for how long each day? So um, I've been doing um, the fitness marshal on uh youtube i'll have a link to his videos down below um and i love it like i love dance workouts and so that was really what i did to um kind of like get more into it like i'm not one of those people that can just like do it myself like i have to have someone like watch someone do it so that really helped and it's just like dance cardio that was like my cardio for the day so i would do that for about 30 to 40 minutes and then i did another ab workout excuse me i just woke up Ugh. i did another ab workout uh or i did an ab workout that um is like a 10 minute ab workout um and even though it was 10 minutes like it was hard like it definitely like kicked my butt so um so yeah did those two things um i didn't do it every day i did like every other day um what goals are for next week and how do you plan to accomplish them so i think what i want to do is start increasing the time that i or increasing the amount of days that i work out um, so what I'm thinking is doing like 
Monday, Wednesday, Friday as like my workout and or um, Monday like do it more throughout the week so do like four times a week or something like that and kind of spread it out um, even if it's just like mild walking and things like that in the in-between days um, because before I was just working out three days and the other two were like complete rest days so I think the other two days I kind of want to make like going on a walk the weather is starting to get a lot nicer in California um, <coughs> so you know I can take uh, my son out for a walk and things like that so um, what challenges do you face this upcoming week I don't think we have any huge challenges coming up as far as like eating out and things like that um, we are going to um, kind of like a work type function for my husband um, and they're going to be doing like barbecue or something like that. Um, I'm not going to take that away from me. I'm just going to eat way less of it. Um, and uh, I think that's pretty much it. Like I don't really think anything crazy is going on this week. Um, I find that if I grocery shop, then we don't eat out. Um, so on occasion on his, my husband's payday, which is Thursdays, we usually eat out that day. Um, just, I don't know. I don't know why we do that, but I don't know. It just seems like a way to celebrate that we got paid. I don't know. It's funny that, um, so that's usually it. But like I said, I don't deprive myself of those things if I want it. I have it, I just have it in very, very small moderations, so I don't go too crazy. What is your motivation this week? I would say my motivation this week is now that I'm down a pound, like I realize that I can do this and like, um, I think last week I felt a little kind of down on myself because like I'm I'm the one who kind of started this collab and then to basically like not follow through with it is really disappointing and um, again no one can hold me accountable except for myself so you know that it is what it is so I really just need to remember like why I'm doing this and why I'm doing it for myself and for my kids and my husband and you know so I just need to stay focused and um, if I find myself you know being making excuses for whatever then I just need to realize it's not gonna no one is gonna make this weight come off of me except for me like that's plain and simple yeah I guess I could go to a plastic surgeon or something but we don't have that kind of money and um, you know, I just need to do it for myself. Um, the other thing that um, I, I've been kind of teetering on is juicing. Um, I have fully realized that like I am pretty much addicted to um, sugars and salts and I'm I'm extremely addicted to like all the crap you know and I really need to um, I really need to focus on eating healthier and eating more vegetables and fruits and things like that and I don't really do that like I it's rare that we, my husband and I even eat vegetables you know and not that I don't like them my husband doesn't really care for them as much so I think sometimes I use him as an excuse like, oh, well, I'm the only one that's going to eat it. But that should be even better. Like, that should be more of a reason why I eat those things. But so my husband and I have been talking about doing juicing. Um, and it's something that I really, really want to do. Um, but it is expensive. So just to do, like, you can do different cleanses. Um, most are like one, three, or five days, or you could do it a lot longer, much harder, but um, people have done it and they lose the most weight on that. I understand that the moment that you like start eating, um, you know, the weight's gonna come back on because your body is, you know, trying to retain that. But 
the purpose of it is really is to kind of reset your body um, and make it realize that juicing or you know you your body needs all these nutrients and so I really feel like I and I I don't I know I'm not getting the nutrients that I need for my food because it's all crap so um, I really want to make sure to um, replenish my body and so anyways my goal is to start juicing um, and probably do a three-day juice juice um, cleanse um, maybe even a little bit longer but again it's super expensive um, not only do I have to go buy a juicer I do have a blender a ninja um, but when I've tried to do that before what I really hated about it was I hate like the pulp in it and it just really grossed me out like it just was really gross juicing like I can drink juice like crazy like I there's no stopping me like from plugging if it tastes nasty from plugging my nose and just downing it but with like a smoothie when you blend it the texture of it mm -mm, can't do it <laughs> so um, juicing is gonna be the way that um, I can get in all those nutrients um, and uh, hopefully after the cleanse just continue to do that every single day um, as far as at least one like green smoothie a day and my son like I think you know he's a very picky eater right now it is impossible to like I mean he barely eats the bad stuff like he's just kind of in a weird stage right now so um, I think it's good he'll you know he'll drink I've given him naked juices and stuff like that before and he loves them so I really think that giving him something like that where I know he's getting nutrients and um, the vegetables and things like that that he's not eating or consuming then um, you know I feel like I can rest easy knowing that he's getting those so um, so yeah I am wanting to get into juicing um, it is expensive the cost to go to a local juicing bar and getting a six-day cleanse or a five-day cleanse from them um, is about $200. Um, now the cost to go get a juicer, a decent juicer, is around $150 um, and then you still have to buy all the groceries for it. So up front, you know, doing it myself is the more costly thing um, so I may end up just doing a three-day cleanse and um, just waiting on the juicer for now um, and then that way like it's already kind of set for me and I don't have to stress and worry and like I just don't want to have to worry about it right now because um, I feel like then I will lose focus so Anyways, this video is getting way long and I don't want these videos to be too long. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Um, I am so proud of myself. I am at 148.2, so down three pounds from last week. Um, my original starting was 149, so I'm down a pound from my original start weight. So I am proud of myself. It is something to look forward to. Um, again, I will keep you guys updated if I do start juicing and kind of give you a step by step on how I feel because I hear the first few days are the worst and so I would love to kind of um, document that so that way everyone can uh, decide whether or not they want to get into it. It's not hard, it's not easy, but neither is weight loss. Um, and I really feel like this is going to help jumpstart that. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Make sure to check out my other channel, um, which I do uh, daily vlogs. And um, it's more about my family. And continue to watch this channel for more beauty and mommy related um, tips and tricks and reviews. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.